Hi, my name is Mr. Exim and welcome to my EdTech channel where I show you how to get the most out of technology in the classroom. Now, making your OneNote pages interactive is a great way to engage students. There are actually lots of websites and tools that will directly embed into OneNote. Some of them are more well known than others. In this video, I'm going to share some of my favourites with you. Let's get started. Okay, so embedding content into OneNote is actually really easy, but like I said, it can really bring a page alive. Here I've just embedded a YouTube video, and I'm sure you've done that before, and actually there are 34 different things listed on the Microsoft uh, website uh, that you can embed directly into OneNote. So what I've done is I've just gone through and I've picked 12 ones that I think are pretty cool that you may not have used before uh, or realized you can embed into OneNote pages. So let's start off with number one, which are the FET, I think that's how you say it, simulations, interactive simulations from the University of Colorado. And there's some fantastic simulations on here uh, for STEM subjects. And so let's, if I pick, for example, this uh, biology one here, And now what's quite confusing is you've got to be careful because sometimes you need an embed code, but most of the time you don't need an embed code. In fact, this embed here won't work for OneNote. I actually just want the URL link and OneNote will be able to do what it, it, it needs to do from there. So if I'm going to launch this simulation here, it's fantastic. You can um, zoom in and out. You can see the actual molecules moving around. Um, so completely interactive. And I, all I've got to do is right click, copy that and paste that into my OneNote and OneNote does the rest. There we go. And it's loading and it's embedded directly in there so I can actually use that within my notes. So really powerful there. Okay, number two uh, is Desmos. Desmos is a maths uh, graph functions and sort of evaluating equations bit of uh, software online. Um, it's very, very good. If you're a maths teacher, very powerful. Um, you can put in your own functions here and watch them get plotted or if you want to look at some examples um, Then you can do that. So for example, here is one here a parabola um, You know, you can change these and see how it affects it So it's all interactive and again what I've got to do is right click copy the URL go into OneNote Paste it in and there it is Okay, all with the same interactivity as before. Okay, number three is a music notation software called Flat.io. And Flat's fantastic, really easy to use uh, notation software. Uh, let's say you've, you've written a score or uh, you've got another one here and you want to embed it. Again, brilliant. Right click, copy the URL, head back to OneNote paste it in, there it is, okay, and off we go. There we are. Number four is Flipgrid, so you can take any response in Flipgrid and uh, just paste that in and you'll get that response directly in the OneNote page, that's really nice, or you can actually take uh, make a Flipgrid short to put that one in or you could um, actually put a whole topic in there and copy that paste that in so Flipgrid embeds really nicely straight into the page number five is uh, OneDrive now using OneDrive files is really good Obviously you can put files into OneNote anyway. You can put them in as printouts or attachments. Um, but this way it actually gives you a live link to that file that's stored on OneNote, that's stored on OneDrive. Therefore if you update the file then it will be updated in OneNote as well, which is fantastic. So you don't need to go to the share option on the file itself. You just actually click on the file. So for example, here's this PowerPoint. Okay, and I, again, I just take the URL, all right? Take the URL, head down to the OneNote page, paste it in, and there we go. We've got a nice PowerPoint presentation directly within the page that can be flicked through straight away. So that is fantastic. Number six, another maths one, GeoGebra. 
So math teachers tend to have a sort of preference between Desmos and GeoGebra, but just like we just saw with Desmos, how you can uh, put stuff in, you need the same sort of thing with GeoGebra. So once you've got a, a GeoGebra that you want, again, right click, and we paste it in. There we go. Number seven, Quizlet. Okay, really fantastic site, Quizlet, for studying and to be able to stick that alongside pupils' notes or for pupils to make their own quizlets and put them in there alongside their notes is absolutely brilliant. Take your URL and paste it in. And there's our Quizlet. If you click on the actual window here, you can see that you can actually drag it bigger. So, you know, depending on how much space you want to take up, you can make that embed bigger so that you can view all the different options there. So that's fantastic, that's Quizlet, and we can change the study mode at the bottom. Number eight is Sketchfab. Now Sketchfab is a website where 3D models can be hosted, uh, and there's hundreds of fantastic 3D models on here. Um, I use loads of really good biology ones. These are beautiful to be able to interact with. They've got labels on them, okay? Um, what you can do is you can embed these, okay? Take the URL, paste it in, and there is our 3D model that we can uh, manipulate within OneNote. Number nine is SoundCloud. Uh, you can also embed Spotify, but SoundCloud uh, I was going to show you here um, because you could upload your own content into SoundCloud quite easily, or maybe you've got other content you find in SoundCloud that you want to embed. Again, let's say I want this song, I can find the share icon, I can get the URL for that, click on the song and I'll be able to get that URL from the top. And once I've got it, then I just need to go and paste that in. There we go. And like I said, any uh, embed you place in here, if you click at the top so you can get the dotted lines around it, you can always resize them. Um, however you like to get more space, especially important for those ones, you know, the way you need to probably interact a little bit further with them, like your GeoGebra one up here. Um, and also, there's always a link, so let's say it doesn't work for some reason, the students can always click the link and always be taken online to view it on there instead. Number 10 is ThingLink, okay? ThingLink, I've made a separate video on ThingLink, you can make interactive images with tags on and links on um, and bring real images to life. So let's say you've got this one here which shows all the different parts or uh, systems in the human body. Okay, again if I just take my URL of that particular thing link, paste it into OneNote, there we go. And that thing link was active directly within the page. There it is, okay. Number 11 are TED Talks. Some of these are on YouTube, not all of them. Um, and so really helpful to be able to get a, a TED Talk and paste that in. And finally number 12 is Wakelet. Again I've made a separate video on Wakelet but it's a fantastic way of collating resources into a list, uh, collecting research and content from the internet and, and combining it all into one area. So let's say I've got a Wakelet here. Okay, um, this one's on evolution that I've put together for my class and I want all these resources in one place. Again, I take my URL and I can paste that into OneNote. And they can scroll through that within the page. So there we go, those are my 12 things that you may not have realized you can embed into OneNote. Uh, if you want, I'll put in the description uh, this link here which shows you the entire list of content that is currently available. So there's 34 things on this list at the moment uh, and um, Microsoft are always updating this list and working with new partners to get more content in there. So there you go. OneNote really is the gift that just keeps on giving, isn't it? Well, for more help with digital inking and further OneNote functionality, do check out the other videos on my channel. For now though, I hope that was useful and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. See you next time.